Hello and welcome to Faithfully Stampin' with Jennifer Helm. I am Jennifer Helm, the Faithful Stamper, an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! I have for you today a fun technique. This might look like a card you've seen before. It looks like a gatefold card with a belly band on it, but there's a little trick. It's not actually a belly band. It's a faux belly band. So it looks like it has a belly band. If you're not familiar with that, it's a band of paper that slides down around a card to help keep it closed. So it might look like this, but this card has a faux belly band, so it's not actually a belly band wrapped around, but it looks like there is one there. So I'm gonna show you the quick and easy way how to make this card. The stamps that I am using today is the Lovely and Lasting stamp set. It is photopolymer and we're going to use the floral image here, one of the sentiments and this beautiful tile stamp which I'm very excited about. Can't wait to show you. So to start we need a card base that is four and a quarter by eleven. For this one you do need this style of card base and my card base is soft succulent and this is so simple. We are going to score two times and that is the extent of any cutting or folding we're doing for our card base tonight. So you will need a scoring tool or a paper trimmer of some kind. We are going to score the long side at two and three quarters and then eight and a quarter or the simple way to remember that is two and three quarters from either end. So that's what I'm going to do really quick is just score it at two and three quarters from either end and then I can put my paper trimmer away. And here is my card base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over so my score lines kind of make the divot in. I flip it over so they're a little more raised on this side. I always put those inside. And I'm simply going to fold in the doors on my card. It's almost like making saloon doors or something. Let's swing open, right? So there's our card base. To that card base, we are going to add two pieces of designer series paper that are four inches tall by two and a half inches wide. These are from the Lovely and Lasting Designer Series, or the Lovely Linen, I think it is, Designer Series paper set. It matches that Lovely and Lasting stamp set. And so you're going to see a lot of different prints from this paper and some of the other samples I have, but it's beautiful paper that I've been really looking forward to using. So four inches tall by two and a half inches wide. And we are simply going to glue these to the card front with my Stampin' Seal. You do not need any fancy adhesive for this. Whatever is your favorite will do just fine. It can be liquid glue if you like. Just remember that takes an extra minute to set. Or it can be tear and tape if you like that. Or just an adhesive runner. Nothing special required. All right, so you just leave a little bit of a border around each side, and I try to line them up as best I can. So there's the front of the card. Next, I'm going to show you how to make that faux belly band. To do that, I have two pieces of cardstock that are one and a half inches tall by two and three quarters of an inch wide. I pulled all the colors today straight from this designer series paper. And this would look lovely if I were just to put these on the card. However, I wanted to, to give this a little something extra. So what I'm going to do is stamp on these two pieces of cardstock before I put them on the card. I'm not going to get all fancy, but I am going to stamp tone on tone. So this is polished pink and I'm going to stamp with polished pink ink. I'm going to grab some scrap paper. I have my Stampin' Pierce mat because the stamps tonight are photopolymer, so they're clear. And they don't have that built-in cushion that the red rubber stamps have, so I need just a little extra something to give me a good impression every time that I stamp. So polished pink ink, and I'm using this beautiful tile stamp. I think this is going to be a favorite of mine. And so I'm just going to stamp. And then since it's clear stamp, I can line up the little bump out on the stamp with a little notch here in the design. We'll see how I do here. There we go. 
Remember, you don't need to sink your stamps in the ink pad. Tapping gently will do. So there's one piece, and I just want to show you the difference. Look at the difference between those two pieces of cardstock simply by adding ink of the same color with the design. It just jazzes it up so much. So now I'm going to repeat that with the second piece. And when that is done, I'm just going to set this to the side for one minute because while I have this beautiful stamp out, I'm going to take advantage and find my envelope, which apparently has wandered off. Um, so here's another one. I'm going to take the same stamp. I want to jazz up my envelope. So I'm going to turn the stamp the other direction, so long ways, because I didn't want to take up too much of the envelope, but I still want to have this beautiful design on it. So, might be a little crooked, but that's all right. Look at that. Doesn't that make you happy if that shows up in your mailbox? I love it. Okay, so that is enough with the polished pink ink. So my envelope is done. That can be set to the side. I'm gonna bring back over my card base and these two panels that create the faux belly band. I'm going to add some adhesive to these. And again, nothing special needed, except non-persnickety adhesive. I always laugh because I use this all day long and it just, it behaves itself just fine until I go live on camera and then it gives me trouble. So you can, Put this anywhere you like on the card. You can do it a little lower if you like. Keep in mind what you're going to put on the center of your card though, because for example, this one, I wished I had put the belly band up a little higher. So I, it crowded me a little at the bottom. So just keep that in mind, depending on what size and shape of punch or die cut you use on your card. We'll get that to that in a minute. But I'm going to put this a little bit higher. So I'm gonna line it up with the center the center fold here and then press it down and then I'm going to turn this over. I work better on the right side and I'm just going to line up the second one again with that center fold and then press that down. Now you can also line it up with that outer edge if you want. It's totally up to you. If you turn it over and you have a little bit of overhang either on the ends or if you open up the doors and have some overhang here, just grab a pair of scissors and trim that off. Easy peasy. Nothing to worry about. But there is my faux belly band. So all I need to do now is create the centerpiece to cover up that fold. So I have a square from our stitched, our, nope, our stylish shapes. Our stitched shapes retired a little while ago and they used to be my favorite and they are still one of my favorites. But this, um, these stylish shapes are my new favorite. I just can't say them quickly because it's a tongue twister. So I have so soft succulent ink for these and the large floral image from the set. So what I'm going to do, normally I take my stamp and I take it to my ink pad, but this is a larger stamp. So I bring my ink pad to the stamp. And again, I'm not gonna smush it. I'm just gonna tap it and make sure I have good ink coverage. So I almost missed the bottom there. So the trick is though to try to keep your ink pad flat rather than at an angle because then you'll add end up with ink on your block and that might end up on your project. So just be careful. And with a larger stamp, I do give it a little more ink just because I wanna make sure I have a good impression here. And so I'm just going to stamp here. I like to hold it down. Since it's a larger stamp, I'll give it a little bit of pressure. And then there we go. That came out rather well. And then last but not least, while I have some ink and stamps out, I'm going to switch colors one more time. And I pre-cut this little banner. This is also from the Stylish Shapes, and it is Pale Papaya. And I decided to do Night of Navy for my words. Again, pulling all these colors from that designer series paper. 
and then there is my banner and all my stamping is done for this card. So to finish this off, I'm going to attach these two pieces that I just stamped. Now this one, I want to cover the fold of the card, but I don't want to glue the card shut. So I'm not going to put adhesive on the whole thing. I'm just going to put adhesive on half. So I always err on the side of caution as far as how far I spread my adhesive because I really don't want to glue my card shut. I have done that before, so I try not to do that. And again, I can center it or adjust it a little top to bottom. Double check to make sure I did not actually glue my card shut, and I didn't. Now my banner, I'm going to put down here on the bottom. And since it is on just one half of the card, I can put dimensionals on the whole banner. If you have a banner or some other kind of punch or sentiment strip that you are using that would extend over the fold, just be sure to only put dimensionals on the half that you want and don't glue the card shut that way either. I have been known to do that a time or two as well. But for this design, I'm going to put it down here. And that way, everything is still kosher. Now to finish off the flowers on the front, I'm gonna take some of our fine sparkle adhesive back gems. These are fun colors, very summery colors. But I decided to use some of these for the flower centers here. So my take your pick tool is perfect for helping me get these in place without flinging them all over my craft room. Now the outside of the card is ready to go and for the inside of the card I'm keeping it very simple. So I'm simply going to take a piece of basic white that is five and a quarter by four. I'm going to grab my silicone craft mat to protect my surface here for a minute because I'm going to add two strips of designer series paper. They match the front of the card. Um, these are four inches tall by half an inch wide and it was simply when I cut my paper I had some left over so I just thought why not make use of it and cut the strips out. So I'm going to add these to the side of my cardstock but I don't want to get glue on my work surface so this silicone craft mat is perfect because the adhesive will rub right off of here. I can wash this. I can't wash my tabletop. At least not under the faucet water. So I like my silicone craft mat to just protect my work surface. You can see I got a little glue there that'll just rub right off. So one strip across the short end of that panel and then repeat on the other side. So if you ever need a quick and easy way to decorate the inside of a card and you might be stuck on what stamp to use, a strip of designer series paper is perfect. This is my go-to when I don't have a stamp that works for the inside of my card. So now all I have to do is add a little more adhesive. And then this is ready to go inside my card with a little border. And just like that, my card is finished. So I've got my beautiful envelope and the card to go with that. And again, looks like it's got a belly band, but it's easier. I always find belly bands a little bit fussy. I think it's just me, but this is perfect because it looks like one, but it isn't actually one. So I have some samples to show you. First of all, I did, I love this card so much, I decided to make it in another color. I actually ended up liking this one better. <laughs> I just switched out, the color scheme is all the same, I just switched different pieces. Instead of polished pink, I went with soft succulent here, pale papaya was changed out for polished pink here on the banner, and the color of flowers was changed along with the gems. But otherwise, the same. So both beautiful, both ready to go to a recipient. And of course, I had to use that beautiful stamp again on the envelope. Now, this is great for any occasion, and I made some masculine ones. Now, this DSP is from the same set of paper as this beautiful print. It covers a lot of variety. The next few cards are all going to be different styles of paper from that same paper pack. 
And DSP, if you're not familiar with it, is designer series paper. It's just Stampin' Up! lingo. We shorten it to DSP. So here, of course, is a masculine version featuring one of my favorite stamp sets, this beautiful wolf. Very simple. I realized I didn't have too many thank you cards for men. But you will notice, here's another version I did. Of course, rectangles here, and then I offset my square to make it a diamond. Really like how that pops. And added a little bit of manly bling, some matte dots. You'll notice, though, I forgot the belly bands on this one. I got so excited with my designs that I forgot the belly band. But you know what? You don't need it. So if you want something simple, remove that step of the belly band, and you have a beautiful card either way. Again, there's that wolf on the inside with the coordinating wolf on the envelope too. But it is okay if you forget pieces or if you change the design. I had to laugh at myself when I realized that I forgot the belly band on several of these cards. So again, another piece from that same paper pack. This one, I used some of the accents. I did not use the lovely and lasting stamp set. I used the Nature's Prints, which is from our new catalog. Added a layered circle here and my sympathy banner. And then quick and simple. So really great for any occasion. Now we're switching from the sad to the playful on this next card. I had so much fun with um, this paper and I really wanted to try different stamp sets with it. So here is this birthday piggy. And I liked it so much I made it in two different colors. I couldn't decide with this sweet sorbet background if I wanted pale papaya or if I wanted mango medley. So here we go and of course I use my Stampin' Blends to cover, color the little piggy. So they're both the same on the inside. So lots of fun, very playful and I kept the theme going with my envelope too. So lots of coloring but very cute and I think the recipient of this card is going to love it. Then one more using that same paper pack. This is also using the lovely and lasting stamp set and I remembered the belly band on this one. This is when I realized, oh look, I was forgetting that. So I stamped the large floral image and then cut it out. I stamped it first in shaded spruce and then I stamped it a second time in sweet sorbet and I fussy cut out the flower buds and glued them on top. And that way it looked like florals and stems instead of flowers all in the same color. I used our embossing folder, the Quatrefoil, for, um, to coordinate with this designer series paper. And there is a very beautiful and quick and easy anniversary card. And then I have two more from a different pack of paper. And you can keep these as simple or as complex as you want. For this one, I kept a very simple label to go. I used designer series paper for my faux belly band and the card front and I went back to that designer series paper strip on the inside along with a stamp sentiment so you can keep it simple or if you like you can jazz it up a little bit so here is my slightly fancier design these labels are from the painted labels die set that we have and then the banner is from a different set but all beautiful, very simple, quick and easy to do, and great for any occasion. So I hope you really enjoyed learning how to make that faux belly band card design. Um, it's really easy to mass produce, but still packs a wow, um, but is very simple. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you have not already, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click subscribe and then click the notification bell and it will let you know anytime I post a video here on the page. You can also find me on Facebook as The Faithful Stamper. I do live videos twice a week. I will announce any specials or sales that Stampin' Up! has going on and any other important announcements that are worth sharing. Also, incidentally, if you do not have a demonstrator that you are currently working with and you would like to see a copy of our catalog, please feel free to get in touch with me and I would be happy to send you one. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and happy crafting.